Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at TypeStyler. One of the nice side effects of the Mac App Store is it's bringing some old Mac software back. One of my favorite old pieces of Mac software is one called TypeStyler. It allows you to do creative things with text. So this graphics tools has a similar interface to Photoshop and Illustrator and other tools like that, but you primarily use it to style text. So let's put some sample text in. Like perhaps a headline there. And then once we've got it, we can start styling it. So let's start out by choosing a style. We can go up here to the style library and we can just select any one of these. Now of course you can highly customize every single factor here, but this gives us a good place to start. So let's just kind of uh, pick one at random there and use that as a starting point. So one of the big things that TypeStyler does is allows you to shape text and you can see it's got a lot of various things here. You can do things in a circle, uh, you can do all sorts of cool stuff like the fish shape here and then of course I could stretch the type here to make it larger so you could see we could try any one of these in a cool twist. And if you ever used TypeStyler before, you'll probably recognize a lot of these. The cool thing is you can go to the Shaper tool and you can actually adjust this stuff on your own. So you can adjust the shape, do all sorts of cool stuff to create things that are a little more unique to what you want. Likewise, you can also select this and go to the Workshop here. And this is where you can really customize a lot of the different parts here. So you can customize the fill for different things and uh, all sorts of stuff about the shadows and shader and everything like that. You also have tools here to be able to change the format and do all sorts of different things like change the text to look like that or other effects that you may have seen that are kind of difficult to create even if you're used to using tools like Illustrator and here you can create these pretty easily. And then when you're done you can export in various ways. You can go to Photoshop, PDF. Uh, you can do a vector uh, export but you can also export directly as an image. Uh, you can even do it as a semi-transparent image. Uh, so you can use these in all sorts of different projects from Pages to Keynote to iMovie. There's even this visualizer tool if you're creating for a physical object uh, you can see your design on something else. So type child is definitely a fun tool to play with, but if you have to get graphics as part of your work, then it could become a very useful tool as well. My only complaint is it's a little bit pricey. Right now it's about $60 in the Mac App Store. But prices do change over time, and if it's something you really need, then it's probably worth getting. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.